Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you where you can make up to $30 per hour and just some generally high paying work from home jobs that don't require you to have experience to apply. The first is at a company called Game Time. Game Time is a sports, music, and different entertainment show tickets company where you can buy tickets to go to all sorts of events. And if you go to Game Time's job page, go to GameTime.co and check them out and you will notice that they have a job towards the bottom here for ticket operations associates. So as a tickets operations associate, you get to work full time and they don't actually require you to have job experience for however many years to apply here. So uh, they mostly hire people in the US and Canada. So also keep that in mind if you're outside North America, you probably won't be able to apply here, but you do get to work full time, 40 hours per week your responsibilities are to efficiently and proactively handle orders with sellers via phone and email, responsible for maintaining certain margins on order sourcing, respond quickly to orders and communications requiring attention, provide above and beyond experiences for customers, etc. And then about you, they want you to have really good skills on the internet, going from multiple site to site, um, and multitasking, you're professional, you're good with people, you're a good speaker, you have good writing skills, good communication, you're attentive, a good problem solver, able to make quick decisions in a stressful environment. They also want you to be decent with like spreadsheets like Microsoft Excel or something similar, experience with ticketing as a customer. So again, you don't have to be someone who's had a ticketing job before. They want you to be someone who's bought a ticket as a customer, maybe even sold your tickets in the past when maybe something came up and you couldn't go. So you kind of know how the process works before you do something like this, but you don't have to have a job that you've done before in this area. Knowledge of the sports industry is also pretty big, especially for the uh, professional sports leagues. Knowledge and experience with iOS and Android products, platforms, and devices. You also get a $1,200 per year annual credit towards purchasing tickets here. So that's nice as well. If you're someone who likes to go to different sporting events and concerts and stuff, they give you $1,200 a year on the company to work here and to go to different events. So nice little perk there as a bonus. And then you can apply for the job, of course, at the bottom of the page. So if you wanna look up reviews of what it's like to work here, you can go to Game Time United on Glassdoor they have 49 reviews, they have a 4.4 out of five star rating, so they seem to be a pretty good place to work. And if you go to the salary section on Glassdoor, you can see that they pay 20 to $21 per hour for this particular job. The next one is at a company called Peerspace. So this one is a customer experience associate job that you wanna look for. Peerspace is a peer-to-peer -peer marketplace for booking space for events, meetings, and different productions. So if you go to jobs.lever.co slash peerspace, you'll go straight to their jobs page. You'll notice that a lot of theirs are remote, except for a few that might be in London. And then what you're looking for is like a customer experience associate. So this is full-time, another one that you don't have to have experience to apply for. Your responsibilities will be to uh, be the first point of contact for users regarding everything from onboarding hosts to recommending locations and services to guests. You'll be a product expert, but you'll be doing your service via phone, email, live chat, and social media. So basically you're doing customer support via all those mediums. Requirements, a passion for problem solving, interacting with customers, good communication skills, interpersonal skills, an eye for detail, and a bachelor's degree from a, an accredited university. But they don't really require you to have a certain amount of years of job experience. Bonus points, enthusiasm for and experience with customer satisfaction, familiarity with CRM systems like Zendesk and Salesforce, previous demonstrable experience with crafting online help resources and things like that. Other perks like benefits, things like that, competitive salary with employee stock options and access to 401k and FSA, HSA, medical coverage subsidized by PeerSpace, dental vision disability coverage, vacation, sick days, $500 annual professional development allowance, discount on all PeerSpace bookings, and team members who work at PeerSpace for a year, five years plus are eligible for a five week sabbatical. And as far as some other things you may be able to get, an Apple laptop, high resolution display, stipend to set up your home office, monthly cell phone and internet credit, 
co-working membership and all sorts of nice things for uh, setting up your work from home setup. So you can apply for the job at the top right of the page there. And as far as what it's like to work for Peerspace, they have a 4.3 out of 5 star rating on Glassdoor according to people who have actually worked there. And when you look up Customer Experience Associate, you'll notice that they make usually around $25 to $37 per hour. So it can range, but you know, that's a pretty solid range to be in for something like customer support. So the third place you might want to check if you want to get paid really well to work from home without needing experience to apply is toggle.com. And just about any job you look at here is going to not necessarily require you to have experience to apply because they have a different system for application. In fact, they have a skills test that you take instead of having you know, just you send your resume like most companies do. So when you do well on these skills tests that apply to the specific job you're applying for, a lot of times you can get the job without having to have any past job experience in a related field. So if you have the skills for the job and you prove that via these tests, then you can get the job. So when you go to toggle.com, it'll say we're hiring. If you're looking for jobs there, you can just click on that and then you'll end up on this page. You can see job openings by just clicking on that right away. You'll notice that they have a design lead, product manager, people ops lead, talent acquisition specialist, account executive, email marketing manager, and many other jobs available. They usually have different types of like software developer jobs and uh, they have a few others right now as well. But if you click on just about any one of these jobs or if you just hover over them, they'll tell you how much they're going to pay they tell you in euros, but you can easily convert that to whatever you know type of currency you use in your country because this is a company that pretty much allows you to work from anywhere in the world. And they usually say that right next to the pay on any one of these jobs. You can work from anywhere in the world from home and they tell you the pay. So they're a very straightforward company and they do things a little differently here, which is really nice. So 60,000 euros a year, 45,000 euros a year, 65,000, 35,000. This one can make up to 120,000. So, depending on the job, you shouldn't make any less than about, you know, 35, 40,000, but a lot of these usually pay around, you know, 55, 60, something like that. So, you should pretty easily be able to get to that, you know, $30 or so per hour and be able to work from pretty much anywhere in the world. So, when you click on one of these jobs, you'll notice it'll tell you a little bit about the role. It'll ask a little bit about you or it'll tell you what kind of they're looking for just in a brief paragraph. And then you click take the test and that's where you can start actually uh, going through the process. They'll tell you usually how long the test might take. They have an 18 minute test for this particular job and it is about 14 different questions on various topics related to the job you will be doing for what is the design, the design lead, you know, which is this specific job. So. Pretty cool way to apply for jobs. Toggle is also a very highly rated company to work for. So if you go to toggle.com, they have 21 reviews and a 4.6 out of 5 star rating. People seem to really like working here out of the reviews they do have so far. So next you have a company that also kind of hires in a similar way to Toggle and it is called Coalition Technologies. You can go to coalitiontechnologies.com to find these jobs and they are a web design and SEO company. So what they have is a lot of marketing jobs and if you go to coalitiontechnologies.com slash jobs you'll see they have some accounting jobs they have some maybe some graphic design type jobs some web development jobs and again marketing seo and things like that so if you're looking for anything along those lines then definitely check out coalition because they usually have quite a few jobs available and you can usually work from home and apply by taking a skills test instead of just sending your resume and having to have a lot of job experience. So when you go to Coalition Technologies, you'll notice that the first thing you usually see, if you do well in the skills test, they will consider candidates even if past experience or educational background criteria are not met. So that's kind of what you're looking for. If you don't have past experience, but you do have skills in graphic design or marketing or whatever, if you got those skills another way, and you didn't have maybe the degree that some other people have or you didn't have the specific experience, they still might hire you if you do well on the skills test. And then if you look kind of at the top of one of the job application pages, it'll say, 
100% of our team works remotely with the support of time tracking software. Our company culture has specialized in supporting remote team members for over a decade, and we welcome your application wherever in the world it's coming for. So another place where it's pretty much fully remote, they have time tracking software, and you get to work from home pretty much anywhere in the world. If you wanna check what it's like to work here, you can see 165 reviews by looking up CT on glassdoor.com, scrolling down and you'll see 4.7 out of five stars. Very good rating, of course, for any company. And if you wanna know the salaries, you can also click on salaries there on glassdoor.com for the same company. And you'll notice that they do have pretty competitive pay. So you'll see some that pay around 40, $50,000 a year. You'll see some that pay a little more than that. You see like 60,000, you see some that pay less, some that pay more, it just depends on the one that you're specifically applying for. And then you have rev.com. Rev.com, the amount you make is going to depend on your speed. So this is a place where you can get paid to do three different things. You have transcription where you take an audio or video file and then you transcribe what is being said into text and who is saying it. You have captioning, which is pretty much the same thing, except you're making sure that the text pops up in a video as it's being spoken. And then you have foreign subtitles, which is very similar to captioning, except you're going to transcribe the text as well as translate the text and make sure it's in sync with the video as it's being spoken. So obviously foreign subtitles pays by far the most, three to $7 per minute. Captions, $125 or so, $1.25 or so per minute, and transcription very similar to captions. When you go to the freelancing section, just go under the about section right there, and you'll notice that transcription pays about 30 cents to $1.10 per audio or video minute, captioning pays 54 cents to $1.10 per audio or video minute, and then subtitling pays $1.50 to $3 per audio or video minute. So it's basically, it'll probably be about half of whatever they typically charge their clients. But you get paid weekly via PayPal and you get to create your own flexible work schedule. And so you can also do this while also having a regular full-time or part-time job. So you just want to click learn more and then apply next to the one you're interested in doing. And then again, that's how much you can make. That's the maximum pretty much you can make per audio per minute. And then it's going to depend on your speed, how much of how much time it takes you to do a minute of transcribing, a minute of you know, captioned video, or a minute of subtitles for a video. And if you want something very similar to Rev, you might also go to 3playmedia.com where they pretty much offer the same type of work. And last but not least, you have Next Rev. This is going to be more sales and customer support related. So if you don't have experience, but you wanna get paid around 20 to $30 per hour, um, you can make that in many cases at next rep. Now, if you are more sales oriented, you're more likely to make that upper tier of income because sales, you can also earn commissions and things like that. So next rep, if you go to what it's like to be an agent right there on the left side, that's where you want to look up their different jobs. So you have three main opportunities. You have customer care, which is gonna pay the least usually. This is just basic like customer support. And this will usually pay, you know, maybe up to $20 per hour or something like that. So then you have something like inbound sales. Inbound sales will usually pay more. You actually have uh, more opportunities for things like commissions and you can earn over $20 per hour here, even as an independent contractor. And then outbound sales, you're going to be the one calling customers. This one pays the most, but might be the most demanding. You can earn 25 plus dollars per hour, even as an independent contractor here doing sales over the phone. So that's another thing you can do. Flexible hours, independent contractor, they provide all the training and everything as well. If you scroll down a little bit, um, they'll tell you about how they provide the training, the certification and everything, instructor-led instructor certifications if you've never done this before. And then of course you save a lot of money by being able to work from home. And as an independent contractor, you can make your own hours you know, very flexible. So other than that, those are a few different ways you can make some good money, some high paying work from home jobs that don't require experience. And I'll see you in the next video.